So, we are officially in the NBA offseason, and already this has been crazy offseason moves, including the one we're going to be talking about in this video. Bradley Bill getting traded to the Phoenix Suns for Chris Paul, Landry Shaman, and two second round picks. I'm going to tell y'all why this trade makes absolutely no sense. What's good, y'all? It's your boy. We'll be back again with another video. Y'all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give y'all main reason. Like, I'm going to go expand on why this is a huge, like, this doesn't make any sense. Okay? But first of all, we're going to get into the good side of this trade, right? You trade away Chris Paul, who's up in the age, who's who probably was going to retire in a year or so, who, you know, he was a last year in his deal. Actually, I think that was it for his deal, so he was probably going to get traded anyway. Even though he wanted to stay in Phoenix, the money was just too much for Phoenix. So you got rid of him, and you got an all-star, right? A bucket getter, right? That's going to give you all some extra buckets, Right? Here's the problem. First of all, you got another shooting guard. Bradley Bill and Devin Booker play the same position, am I correct? I mean, Bradley Bill could play small four, but he's basically a shooting guard. Bradley Bill is not a point guard. Devin Booker has played point guard in this previous year, but he's not a point guard. So, that's the big, that's the number one mistake right there. You have no point guard other than Cameron Payne. But in my opinion, Cameron Payne is a backup point guard. Y'all are not gonna survive with Cameron Payne. I don't give I don't give a damn how many super all-stars you have in your team. He's a backup. He's a solid backup for your team. You can keep him. But as a starting point guard, no. You need a starting point guard. And that and that's that's what I'm about to get to. These superstars need to stop wanting. I, I get all these super. They want to team up to win a championship. But we have this. This tells you in the previous years that that does not work. Building a team around you through the draft and getting solid pieces around a superstar works and that's been proven the last couple of years look at the Mif milwaukee bucks with Giannis. what did they do they build around him they got drew holiday they got chris middleton who stayed on the team brooke lopez who's a solid defensive player one of the best defensive players in the nba underrated they also had pj tucker on that team who's just a doll who he's not he He's a person you just need on your team. They had that. And obviously, they had Giannis. Okay? But they had another star with him that became a star. He was, he was not a star before. But he got better. He improved. And they had a solid coach in Coach Bud. Who unfortunately got fired. But they had a foundation around that team. They need. They obviously need a a point guard who know how to defend. What did they do? They got Drew Holiday. And what did Drew Holiday do in the finals? Well, look in Game Five where he stripped Devin Booker with Devin Booker just driving and he stripped him and and lobbed it to Giannis on a fast break with a game winning bucket. And then Game Six, Giannis was Giannis. Now look at previous year. Not just your previous year. Go and say Warriors. What did they do? Well, y'all all know what they did. Other than get KD after they was building, you know, their foundation and the dynasty. Not only they have Curry, the greatest shooter guys could ever created. Not only they have Klay Thompson, probably the second greatest shooter guys you ever created. But Draymond Green fits the team. He's he's the leader of the team. This is what I'm saying. In order to win a championship. 
nowadays, especially, you need somebody who's a superstar in your team, but you also need a leader that's gonna that's gonna get in people's faces. They're gonna get all these players' faces. They're gonna challenge the players. They're gonna challenge your teammates. And it's gonna defend at a high level. Warriors had that. That's why they had a dynasty in Draymond Green. Draymond Green is the foundation of the Warriors. So, with the Denver Nuggets, y'all gonna say they probably don't have that? Well, Bruce Brown is is the most one of the most underrated players, and especially on that team. I believe he's one of the leaders on that team. And they also had KCP, MPJ, who's my favorite, one of my favorite players coming out of high school, who played in the playoffs, especially this playoffs. He played like he was in the high then, back in the high school. Okay. So, and then they have Jokic and Jamal Murray, a point guard that knows how to get a bucket. And he was phenomenal in these playoffs. So what I'm getting at is Phoenix. I'm gonna tap KD. Because KD, you went to the Warriors, you got your championship because they was already surrounded by that championship core. You was already surrounded and you you elevated to the next level where nobody can beat you because you was unstoppable in that 2017-2018 NBA playoffs. Both of those years. You was unstoppable. Nobody can guard you. Nobody can guard you in general, but you was really the best player in the league at that time. Now you fast forward to Brooklyn. You get Kyrie with you. Then y'all get James Harden. Y'all didn't even play that many games with each other. And when y'all played, y'all got in the playoffs and y'all lost in game seven in the second round versus the Milwaukee Bucks, who had a great foundation around that team. Great chemistry. Great core. Y'all just have a bunch of superstars. That just know how to get buckets. But what else? Who else y'all have around that team in Brooklyn? Y'all had Bruce Brown, but that was about it. I know James Harden and Kyrie was injured that year. But the whole time y'all was together, y'all wasn't all the way healthy. So can't can't, you know? Now you get the Phoenix. Y'all have no excuse this year. Y'all had no excuse. Y'all just ran up against the champions and the Denver Nuggets. So what do y'all think is going to happen this upcoming year? Well, getting Bradley Beal, you really think getting Bradley Beal would beat the Denver Nuggets? Absolutely not. Who's going to guard Jamal Murray? Okay. DeAndre ain't definitely not going to guard Jokic. Nobody can. Who's going to defend the perimeter around the Denver Nuggets? Because that's where the Denver Nuggets really flourish is when they get the ball to Jokic and they spread the floor for everybody to shoot the ball. Bruce Brown, KCP. Now, Bruce Brown's probably going to be off the team, but still they have KCP. They have Christian Braun, young upcoming player. They have key players around him. Reggie Jackson coming off the bench. Jeff Green coming like Phoenix, y'all already didn't have a bench. When y'all got KD, losing Mikael Bridges is huge. When y'all got KD, y'all ain't even have a bench. So I knew y'all was not going to go that far. But then your Chris Paul gets hurt. Y'all look better without Chris Paul. Cool. But not getting Bradley Bill. You don't think that's going to get in the way with each other of who's going to get the ball in the last minute? You don't think that's going to get in the way with each other who, who's going to be the focus point of the team? The, the, team that's, the person that's going to lead the team in points? And assists, rebounds, all that. Bradley Bill is going to be, I mean, he's going to get you a bucket, but it's going to be, I, I really I really think this kind of, not the same, but kind of like the same thing in Brooklyn. Y'all had Kyrie and James Harden. Yeah, y'all had Kyrie as a point guard who can get a bucket. Cool. But y'all had no center. Nicholas Cousin was very young at the time, so he wasn't even ready. It's all about the whole aspect of the team. That's what I'm getting to, y'all. This trade, this me pointing out the expanding on why this trade does not work. Oh, why? I'm not even going to say it does not work. It just doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense, in my opinion. 
We're going to see what the Phoenix Suns do the rest of the offseason because that was just the one trade. I get it. They can get some more pieces. They can try to trade DeAndre Aiden. They're probably going to keep him. But in my opinion, I mean, DeAndre Aiden is really holding y'all back. But Phoenix, get a point guard. Get a starting point guard. Please. Cameron Payne is a backup. If y'all get a if y'all leave, if y'all stay, if y'all stay with Cameron Payne, who is y'all backup point guard? Y'all gonna put Devin Booker at the one. Okay. Bradley Bill's gonna be at the two. KD is gonna be at the three. Who's gonna be at y'all four? Y'all have so many empty spots. And I get it. Like I said, this is an offseason. But Phoenix and KD. Can you win on your own? Can you win with a team that's had a great core of players around you instead of having another superstar with you? Can you do that? We're going to see you in these, this upcoming season, y'all. That's all I got to say for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Give your boy a like. If, subscribe to your channel if you're new. And I'll see y'all next video. It's been your boy Will. I'm out.